Hey, Tim Alden here. Today we're going to show you how to carve this little flower on one of our coaster blanks. You can get these coaster blanks on the website. We're going to have a printable pattern that comes with these. It'll just come in the packet with the coasters that you purchase. And we'll be working on some other designs here in the near future. Um, one of the things I wanted to highlight today is I got some new bevelers in. They're made by Richard Brooks in Canada. And so one of the things that we did do, we went ahead and got a coarser checkering on these um, Richard Brooks tools. Figure we'll just keep things a little bit different. We don't want to do away with what we already have and use and offer, but I uh, want to just show you some different options and kind of give you a variety of different things. So we'll go ahead and cut this design out. I've just, I have a tap off of this and so I just pressed it on with my hand press and cruise around here. So now that we got our swivel knife out of the way, we're going to go ahead and do some beveling. We probably won't use the number one on this just because it doesn't have any real tight radiuses. But one thing that I like about Brooks's tools is it does have that these are 30 degree bevelers and it's a size one. So this would be our size two and we got a size three for the bigger straight stretches and this is just kind of in between a one and a two of a Barry King, which I kind of like that uh, width. And then the uh, number three is just a touch, or it's actually the number four is a touch wider than Barry King's number two, but not quite as big as the number three. So we're just a little, just a skosh, smaller almost the same size but they handle a little bit different they're gonna grab a lot more having that coarse checker on them and so you'll take a little use getting used to as far as running them smoothly and you just you want to put less pressure on them and just maybe even pick it up just a little bit as you're um, moving along But as you can see, that coarse checker is just going to really put a little more highlight and depth to uh, these lines. Got that tape on there. That way we can hold this down a little bit with our weight.
Okay, so you can really see how those coarser check bevelers are really going to pop that stuff. There's just a lot more depth even without antiquing. We'll go ahead and do our flower center. One thing that I've seen people do on coasters or just every once in a while in a project, they'll use their maker's mark stamp if it fits perfectly in your flower center. So that's something that you might try. Um, you can sell some coasters and it's a business card that somebody's not going to throw away, um, which is kind of cool. I don't have one that will fit in here, so we're just going to tool this flower center here. So once we've gotten that, I'm going to go ahead and shade our flower center with our number one Barry King thumbprint. So we just want these lines, you know, radiating out of that flower center. I'm tipping it back and just fanning it out. One little high spot on each side. That way you create some depth there. Don't want to go all the way to the sides. Okay, so now that we've gotten our flower center shaded, we're going to come back with our Berry King lined seed and we're going to do our flower center with it. And so I'll bevel that edge so it's sticking up and then I'm going to tip my cedar off to the side, basically to the outside. So as I come around, I'm rolling it around just Kind of going from the corner in, pushing those seeds a little bit. Like so. And then when I do my second row, I'm just going to go in between those seeds. And same deal, I'm just going to keep working my way around, tipping it to the outside. And that's going to give this flower center a little bit of a domed look. Just like that. So we're going to come back with our Berry King lined veiner. And we're just going to do this on our dominant side of our petals to lift up that pedal and get a little more depth. And just use that corner of it. And then we could just do our swivel knife cuts out of the center. We're just going to shade a little bit at the outside of these leaves. We're going to use those new thumbprints from Richard Brooks and I'm just going to use our size 4. We're carrying a size 4 and a size 5. Um, the size 4 is about the same size as our Barry King that we're using and then this 5 is just a skosh bigger than that and it fits most projects that we do. 
So you got two sides of this. You can use, you know, your narrow end, kind of taper that back. And we're just kind of running along that border there. Or you could use the bigger end. Um, just kind of personal preference. Okay, so we've got all of our shading done. You just see how that really kind of makes that flower pop just a little bit more. And you'll notice that these thumbprints are actually still smooth. We've taken our Berry King, King thumbprints and we actually ran them on a little bit of sandpaper to create just a little bit of roughness that will burnish your leather. We're actually gonna offer these ones in smooth finish or slightly rough so that'll be a drop down on the website and you can choose we you know we didn't do it on these ones that we're using here today but it is something that if you want that little extra burnish and color that you get um, with it being slightly sanded that is going to be an option you can choose from so we'll go ahead and do some deco cuts on these and call it good coasters drying out a little bit so we put a little water on there so we're just going to cut from our flower center out these lines are just gonna radiate out they can have a little arc to them or they can be straight the key is you uh, want them to be darker in the center lighten out And then we're going to come back here and we're going to cross hatch these. Starting all the way across and then just taper on the center. And there you have it. I don't know what kind of flower that is, but it's a leather one. Does it look like a daisy? We'll call it a daisy. Well, there you have our flower on our coaster blank, and you can kind of see how you just get a little more depth with your coarse, coarse checkered, you get a little more depth with the coarse checkered bevelers. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. So um, we got our flower tooled here. We just left the border blank. If you wanted to, you could real easily cut a border with your easy border tool here 
and do that we just wanted to basically do the uh, flower and just leave it plain so we'll leave that up to you and we'll see you next time <music>